Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, let's get you an update quickly on the bridge that collapsed in Miami, Florida. And I have an expert opinion that was sent to me from a man who is an engineer and worked on bridges. Uh, Florida's bridge crumbled. And according to reports from CNN, it sounded like multiple bombs went off. And that's concerning. That's very concerning. Matter of fact, according to the report, Isabella Carrerso had just driven beneath a recently installed pedestrian bridge when she heard a thunderous crash. She turned around to see what looked like the scene from an earthquake. The bridge near Florida International University was in ruins, having collapsed into a pile of concrete and twisted metal. The cars were completely crushed under it. Uh, quite frankly, I'm lucky to be alive. That could have easily been me and my boyfriend under the bridge had we not turned right and decided to stay at the right light and gone a different direction. Carrasso was one of the several drivers and pedestrians near the intersection close to the Miami area bridge when it collapsed yesterday, killing now at least six people and uh, there are still more bodies under the bridge. It sounds like a bomb, like multiple bombs, uh, said Giovanni Hernandez. He told CNN affiliate WSVN. It sounded like the world was ending. And when you look back, all you see is a bridge on the floor. It's awful. Lionel Collins helped pull people from the crumbled cars. And after the whole thing broke, I was freaking out. Collins told CNN, I got out of my car and myself and, other, and a few others were helping people. We were sprinting over there. We started helping people whose cars were half crushed and whoever was easily saved. But we couldn't really go under any of the rubble because at the time, the bridge, the other half of the bridge is still kind of leaning upward right now. All right, so this is a very horrible scene. Now, I also received an email uh, from a man named Burke, who, uh, who is an engineer and works in this field. He says, hi, Paul. The blame or the fault, in my opinion, will be and should be on the engineers as I worked in this field, as you know, and they were a part of it. Where I come from, the engineers will have tensile tests from when the, that the steel was made, as that's the way quality control here and everywhere usually works unless there is a corruption involved. The design looks to be weak, in my humble opinion, and it doesn't look right to me. I don't think it's the steel at all unless the tensile strength is incorrect for the design. Engineers always wear a pinky ring to remind them of the big bridge that, that fell because of faulty tensile strength. Just trying to help. Uh, well, let me just say something. He's got a good point. You know, the engineers are responsible for the testing of the steel strength. That has to be a part of the design is understanding the components of what it is you used. So again, the questioning will begin. The investigations will start. We have no idea what was the cause of this. Very concerning that eyewitnesses heard what sound like bombs going off, but this could be the sound of just the collapsing of the bridge, not necessarily some kind of detonation. But then again, that has to be looked at. This was a brand new bridge that was designed to be built to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. How did it fall in five days? We'll be back with more information and current world events. Certainly, this is very disturbing, but we're living in the days when there will be more and more strange apocalyptic events taking place around the globe. Give your life to Jesus Christ. 
Don't miss today's live broadcast. It starts at 12 noon Eastern. I'll be live at 12 noon Eastern today. And don't forget, tonight, three days of glory starting tonight, Friday night at 7 p.m. Central. That's 7 p.m. Central. That's 8 p.m. Eastern in Knox, Indiana. 7 p.m. Central. Knox is on Central Time. 7 p.m. Central, Knox, Indiana at Community Gospel Baptist Church. Going to have a powerful time tonight in the Lord. And if you'd like to be baptized tonight, I'm willing to do that. I'll baptize uh, this evening. I'll see you tonight. God bless.